jailed after jaywalking. Tonight we are bringing you the story of a Detroit man who had never been in trouble with the law but found himself facing time in prison. He says police lied to cover up their own mistake. Seven investigator Russ Jones tells us how the whole mess ended up costing city taxpayers. This was a time where, you know, Eric Gardner just happened, Sandra Bland just took place. I was scared I was another face on the shirt. Steele Hughes never had trouble with police until a night two years ago when he was leaving dinner in Greektown with his fiance. I was crossing here, we were getting ready to walk um, over to this parking structure right here. Hughes did what our cameras saw lots of people do in Greektown. He jaywalked, cutting across Monroe Street when he said traffic was clear. Cops in Detroit seldom give out tickets for jaywalking, but Hughes was about to get one. An officer made a, made a call, get out of the street. It was a mistake. You know, I shouldn't have jaywalked. I could acknowledge that. He finished crossing the street, but said the officers weren't finished with him. Next thing I know is a hand grabs my shoulder, and then my wrist, and then I'm thrown to the ground. Surveillance video captured the melee, which escalated quickly. Passers-by pulled out their cell phones, recording Hughes on his back. In front of his fiance, officers cuffed him, then put him in the squad car and brought him to jail. The charges, disorderly conduct and obstructing police. His arrest was posted to YouTube. And all of a sudden, I was this young male that was being arrested online. But what police said to justify Hughes' arrest is what disturbs him the most. Said one officer, Hughes shrugged violently away, then swore at the officers, a charge he denies. Another said he took an aggressive posture, that he was blading his body, leading the officer to grab his left hand before he could launch an attack. I would have no reason to attack three armed officers in, in downtown Detroit after a, after a date night. Were you armed with anything? Not at all. I, I had a carryout. I had um, some, some, some crawfish and rice. And as for how Hughes ended up on his back, that wasn't the officer's fault, they said. Hughes lost his balance and fell to the ground. It has all the appearance of a takedown. We showed the video to Reginald Crawford, a retired Detroit police officer who spent years on the city's board of police commissioners. What officers said and what the video showed, he said doesn't match. Does it look like he's about to launch an attack? No, he doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't have the appearance of that. They began to manufacture their statements in order to justify and support their actions. Herbert Sanders is Hugh's attorney. It's scary to think what might have happened if there wasn't video. This could have escalated and he could be dead. After the arrest, Hughes sat in a Detroit jail and not just for a few hours. I was given an orange jumpsuit, um, had a mugshot taken, and I was put in a cell with felons. I sat there, slept there, and used the bathroom there for three days. After 72 hours behind bars, he was released, only to learn he'd been suspended from his job for two weeks pending his criminal case. It wasn't long after that that the Wayne County prosecutor decided there wasn't one. Ken Worthy turned down their, their warrant. I was not charged with anything. Once the case against him fell apart, Hughes sued the Detroit Police Department. And last month, the city settled, costing taxpayers $45,000. What it cost Steele Hughes, he says, is more than money. If I see cops, two hands on a steering wheel, it changes the way I move. I shouldn't, you shouldn't have to be guarded or fearful of an officer. Their job is to serve and protect, not to, not to strike fear in anybody. None of the officers in this case were disciplined for their conduct, but a supervisor would later say that police should not have grabbed Hughes in the first place and should have instead used verbal commands. We should add Hughes' ticket for jaywalking. It was dismissed. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Expunging.